Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a car boot haul. So, some of the stuff I got yesterday is already actually listed, has been put away. Um, but I'm just going to show you a few of the bits. It was an indoor car boot sale. Um, I would have said about 70 to 80, if not a bit more, um, percent of the actual stalls that were there were dealers. Um, I did grab a couple of bits off the dealer's stalls. Um, and ma the majority of stuff came from the private sellers, obviously the families and that. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't amazing. There was a lot of other resellers going round as well. Um, and it was only a small little thing. So it was sort of just grab what you can and, and get out of there really. So um, I did just that. I grabbed a few bits and bobs. Probably got about 10 to 15 items in total. So not a, at the standard of the summer boot fairs, obviously. Um, but yeah, still, a few bits and bobs anyway. So I'm just going to go through the ones that I can show you that I've got out here now. Uh, and I will talk about a couple of other charity shop pickups I've had over the past couple of days. Because I haven't got them to hand again. So I'm just too good. I'm just too efficient. I'm getting everything listed. So here, oh, another item is gone. Oh, that's good. Um, this is a Gap shirt. Nice condition, really nice. Um, now, lovely along there. Uh, lovely along the back there as well. Needs a bit of an iron. Um, you know, lovely along there. And quickly show you that one as well. Lovely along there. Really nice. It's a large one, I think. I don't know. I think it is. It says L there, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was two quid, so I was happy with that. I don't know whether I just said two quid, but happy with that. Clothing isn't my thing, but I'm trying to get into it a bit more. I don't really know a price on this. Um, if, when I come to edit, I've researched this, I will put prices up there. If not, maybe someone could comment down below for the people watching this video in the future, so that then they could go down below and see your comment, and then they'll be able to get some knowledge themselves. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll be listing this in the next couple of days, iron it up on that, and then list it. Uh, next, I got some rather nice condition again, diesel jeans for four quid. Um, do, do, do. And these are timming ones, diesel timming, uh, whatever that means, I have no clue. Um, yeah, great condition really. I mean, pockets are nice. Um, what else? Crotch area is pretty good. Um, and if I show you the hems, they're great, these are actually. Really nice condition. There's a little bit of something there. Minor bit of wear there, but nothing really. That's being really picky. Um, but yeah. So, but I am very OCD with condition and things. I like them to be in nice condition. Um, especially if I ever get into clothing in a bigger way, I will be like really pernickety, which might be bad because I might then leave certain bits of clothing that I could have actually made profit on. So maybe it's not the best way to be. But yeah, anyway, four quid for them. Um, God knows, I don't know how much. I just know they're going to be worth more than bloody four quid. Um, so I picked them up. I just checked condition and was like, yeah, I'll have them. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, I got some Nike trainers. Uh, what do these say now? Downshifter 6. Paid two quid on these. Uh, got the little thing inside there. Um, yeah, I mean, aesthetically at the moment, they're not amazing. I mean, they've got a bit of wear, a bit of uh, dirt and stuff. Uh, the trims are okay there, you know, underneath is all right. Um, and then there's the other one, obviously. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I thought for two quid, got to take a punt on them as well. Prices on these, I did research these, actually. Um, and some people, like, on auction, probably casual sellers who don't really quite know what they're doing, have been getting sort of like three, five quid, things like that around there, it's kind of weird. And then I've seen like other Buy It Now listings of same style but like different colours and stuff, um, go for sort of like around the £15 mark, 
So I don't really know, but I, I'm, I'm going to put a bit more detailed pricing up there for these uh, when I come to list them and obviously when I come to edit this video. So yeah, but I had to pick them up anyway. Um, I got a window wizard. Um, yeah, the blue one. I don't know whether it's the blue or the red one that's better to pick up, but they're both worth picking up anyway if you see them, you know, for a quid or two. Um, yeah, I paid two quid for this, and I just I had to pick it up because I've not had it. Um, I'm going to put a price up there because I, I really don't know on these. I've not got it. It's a shame because I'm recording on my phone, but when I get my camera, I'll be able to record on my camera have my phone here and look look up prices while I'm doing the video so it means that I can actually tell you guys. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I've heard people getting around £15 for these but yeah, I'm not too sure, I'm not too confident on that. Um, from the charity shop, I'll just do this quick charity shop uh, pick up. Where's the little price here? £3.99 from the old Chazza. Um, I got this Robo Raptor. Um, I think it's the same brand as uh, Robo Sapien. Um, and these are really, really cool. Um, and I've got the remote somewhere down here. And when you're getting these, you know, remote control toys or like robots or things like that, always remember to, to get the remote with them. And if you can, test them in the shop or wherever you are. Obviously, maybe not at a boot sale, you might not be able to. Um, but if you can, try to. Um, because it's always worth it, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so nice. I paid four quid on that, as, I'm, as I've shown. Um, and yeah, I'm looking anywhere between 20 and 30 quid on that. So happy with that. I'm going to give it a clean up and sort of shoot for the top end of that. So yeah, that was all right. What else have I got to show you? I got a um, 2004 Marvel Spider-Man movie figure. Uh, now this one's got a fair bit of articulation. Um, it's got its wrist moves, all that sort of stuff. Um, I've sold similar ones of these um, for anywhere between sort of 10 to 15 pound. I would imagine that's where I'll be putting this, you know, sort of in that region. Um, but you know, some of these can be worth can be worth more, so it's well worth doing a bit more uh, in depth research. But yeah, I mean, there's certain brands you look out for on figures. I've forgot a lot of them. Uh, I think the Toy Biz ones are okay. Uh, McFarlane toys, and there's another one as well that I always pronounce wrong, like. Necro or Necron, I don't know, it's something like that, um, I think it's like N-E-K-O -N or something, I don't know, um, but yeah, anyway, so that's that one, I paid two quid on that, so that was alright, um, I got this La, Latik, Latak, Latik, oh, blooming low battery, one set, there we go, um, yeah, like, Latak, I don't know, board game, vintage one, quite nice, quite cool. Had to pick it up because I always pick up vintage board games when I see them. Um, and yeah, I mean, I paid three quid on this, so it was a little bit high. But it's gone from anywhere between 10 to £25, so a bit of a range there, really. I'm thinking, like, sort of 15 quid around that area. Um, and I'll be happy with that from £3, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And one of them things, you know, I just... These were one of the first things I fell in love with vintage board games when I've been doing this, so... They always have a bit of a pull on me. Um, so yeah, had to pick that up. I also got a Ralph Lauren uh, jumper, large jumper. Um, I was going through the clothing quite quickly, and I'm still not very experienced with it. Um, and I, I actually missed out the fact that it had like little, like sort of, I don't know, you know, hmm, I don't know how to describe it, but like little furry bits under there. I mean, you you can pick, you know, you can be able to pick them off, but there was just like little bits of fluff under there. So um, I missed out that anyway. So it was a bit of a bummer, but I'll be able to still list it. It's still saleable. Just need to sort of make sure I've uh, cleaned it up in the correct way. Um, 
But yeah, I paid £2 for that as well, so happy days on that. Um, and I think that's some good money. As I say, I don't really know what I'm doing with clothing, but I think that's okay. I think I've done alright with that one. Um, yeah, anyway, so what else did I get? I got a, a Lego poly bag that's already away in, my, in the bottom. Actually, it's over there in the bottom FBA box, so I'm not going to get that. But it, it wasn't great. It was like I, I paid a quid for it, and it'll turn into a fiver, so... Nothing at all, I mean, net profit-wise, hardly anything, but it's worth it just to scan into Amazon and shove it in a box. Um, what else? Oh, I, on Saturday, on my Saturday charity shop boot haul, uh, not boot haul, charity shop haul even, um, I got a really nice, and I'll put a picture up there, Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin framed picture. Really, really nice, stamped with the... Walt Disney Company logo or whatever, you know, or the Dis official Disney stamp or whatever it is. Really, really nice item. Couldn't find it anywhere. Paid three quid. Um, I've got it listed very, very high. I am shooting at 50 quid be or best offer. Um, and I think that's quite high for, the, for what it is. Um, I may end up sort of reducing it to 30 quid or best offer. But yeah, happy, really, really happy with that. It was a nice pickup, unusual, different, interesting. Um, and yeah, so I couldn't complain at that for £3. Even if I have to shift it for nineteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine 14 plus postage, something like that, it's still worth it. So yeah, anyway. I also, oh yeah, also, finally, I'll just say finally this one as well. I think that's everything. Yeah, so I'll just finally mention this one. Also, on Saturday, I got a, like, sort of, it was weird, it was, it's, it's like a tyre mirror, and it's sort of like Man Cave-esque, or I suppose it could go in a restaurant that is devoted to cars, or the love of cars, and things like, or things like that, um, actually, it could probably go well in the, in the toilets of a restaurant that is really, is like really devoted to cars, or whatever, that'd be, you know, that'd be pretty cool, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, I got that for a fiver, you know, all someone's done is they've got a round mirror and then put a tyre to it and, you know, made it look nice and that. Um, but yeah, that was really cool, got it for a fiver, hoping to turn that into about 25 quid plus postage, 20, 20, 29 or 30 quid plus postage, something like that. So yeah, anyway, before my voice goes, I better get off and I will see you in the next video. I'm going out to the Chazers tomorrow, so hopefully get some items then. I did go out to the Lost Stop one today, but, um, I, well, I did get a couple of items, but they are actually downstairs. I forgot to bring them up before the video. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'll get on, get listing. I've got a few bits and bobs to be listing. Um, and then I need to get out and get sourcing again, because uh, I've not really got tons to be listing. Um... So yeah, I will see you very soon guys. Don't forget, please go down below and like my Facebook page if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now guys.